Okay, hello, hello everyone to our Meet Your Teacher session today on this Tuesday, uh, just before the start of our next tradesperson cohort. And today I want to share with you uh, a little bit about us, a little bit about why to become a passive house professional. So let me share my screen for that and a little presentation with you where I explain a little bit um, about why we do what we do and um, why it's a good idea to become a passive house professional. Okay, so today you meet uh, the teacher, which is myself. Uh, I'm Julia. I'm here working for Smart Plus Academy as the uh, certified trainer. And um, if you are signing up for a uh, one of the courses, then you will see me uh, around teaching uh, in those courses. Good. So why should we become or why should you become a passive house professional? And um, today I want to talk a little bit about the uh, first I give you a bit of an introduction. Then I talk a little bit about Passive House, what it is, where it comes from. And then I introduce us, Smartless Academy, as your Passive House training provider. Good, let's start with a little introduction. And I think the, um, the clear thing, the problem at our hand is our climate change. So here the IPCC report uh, really clearly stated that we have uh, very little time to pivot our emissions. Uh, so um, the uh, chair of the IPPC, IPCC said uh, it's now or never if we want to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius without immediate and deep emission reductions across all sectors, it will be impossible. Uh, that was already uh, in 2022 when this uh, report came out. Now we have less than 290 days, which is to the 1st of January 2025. So very little time if we want to reach that target of below 1.5 degrees Celsius. So it's it's really time to do something. Um, global greenhouse gas emissions from buildings uh, were 12 tons of uh, gigatons of CO2 equivalent in 2019, and that's 21% of the global uh, greenhouse gas emissions. So uh, we can see here that the building industry still has a really big impact on climate change and that we can do something about that. Um, and these 290 days, they will be gone in no time. So it's uh, really crucial to start something, uh, start with our action now. Good. Then uh, another uh, little graph here on the global share of final CO2 emissions by sectors. So here we're looking only at CO2, not at other, um, other greenhouse gases like methane and so on. And then our emissions from the building industry is even 39%. Yeah, so 39% of the emissions comes from the building industry. We have here residential buildings, non-residential buildings and the construction industry itself. So the message here is that uh, the building and construction sector is a key player to secure a sustainable future. Uh, we need to reduce our energy consumption and make buildings the power stations of the future. Okay, so we have, uh, as the building uh, professionals, uh, we have a big responsibility. At the moment, we are still part of that problem, but we can be part of the solution. How can we do that? We can save energy with our buildings. So uh, when we're talking about passive house, we're often talking about a uh, saving in energy, um, heating or conditioning uh, energy savings of uh, over 75%. That's easily achievable when we're talking about uh, heating only. We're often hearing numbers of over 90%, but if we're looking at heating, cooling, domestic hot water altogether, 75% 70, is really achievable. Um, and uh, this is a good, really good start. But what does that mean overall for our buildings? And if we're looking at the overall energy consumption of buildings, so this is an example for Australia from 2014, it means that if we're doing passive house, we can cut our household energy into half. Okay, so if we're looking at everything that we're using in the home, not just uh, conditioning, then we can cut our bills in half. And wouldn't that be great if we only have half the bills um, and only using half of the energy? So that would be a very good start. Now, what is our vision here at Smart Plus uh, Academy? Uh, so what we see in the, the history of building is that uh, we are able to uh, build shelters that are structurally sound and that are protect us from the elements. So we're already pretty good at that. We don't see many uh, buildings falling down and we are usually uh, able to keep the weather outside. But what we're not doing yet with our buildings is we're not creating healthy indoor uh, environments. We're not uh, often not creating comfortable indoor environments. Uh, we're not creating sustainable buildings and economical buildings and all that passive house can offer. Okay, so all that is covered when you're building a passive house. We have now our healthy indoor environment, fresh air 24 seven, no mold. We are comfortable in there. We know that we're doing something for sustainability and we have an economical building. 
that uh, is affordable, especially when we're looking over the lifetime of the building where we have a uh, return on investments. Then what we want to see uh, on top of that, uh, so because passive house should be the first step, we want to see on top of that, that uh, our buildings become our energy producers, that we're putting uh, solar panels on our roofs. Uh, passive house doesn't require that, but it really, really makes sense uh, to do that, to produce energy. Then the next step would be to store energy. Then we're looking at zero energy buildings and real zero energy buildings when we're looking now also at the embodied energy uh, sort of from uh, building the house to uh, bringing it down back down when we are destroying it. So uh, real zero energy buildings would be uh, would be the goal. And then uh, buildings should become smart. They should become smart. They should help us in our everyday lives. And ideally, plus energy buildings where they are the power stations of the future. And if we're taking that all together, we're coming to the smart plus building standard. That's what we're really uh, aiming for. That's what our vision is uh, for the future of buildings. As you can see, at Smart Plus Academy, we want to make our world a better place. We really do what we do uh, because we're passionate about it. We want to empower people to make a difference. We're in it with all our heart. Um, we're on a mission to decarbonize the building industry, and we want to inspire and lead with passion and love. And uh, hopefully that uh, comes through in everything that we do, how we present, how we teach. And we want to also make Passive House Education accessible for everyone. Um, so that's why you find on our website, you find some free courses, some uh, low cost courses so that everyone can learn, start learning about Passive House and how important it is. What we want to achieve for you is that uh, might sound a little bit funny that we don't want you to build passive house buildings. You might ask yourself, why is that? Because we don't want you to tick just another box that's called passive house. Instead, we want to empower you to design healthy and sustainable buildings that are affordable. We want you to make educated decisions. We want you to really understand what it means to be sustainable, to be healthy and comfortable building. And then you can decide what is the right path for your building, for your particular project, and decide if the passive house standard is the right thing for, for you. Uh, maybe passive house is not good enough, depending on where you're located, what your climate is, uh, how your building looks like, what shape, what size, what um, compactness you have. It might not be good enough, or it might be an overkill if you live in a very mild climate, but that is only the, often the case for about 5% of the cases where passive house is too much. Then I want to talk a little bit about efficiency first. And uh, in that case, I have a question for you. So what do you think, how many tea lines do we need to keep a 15 square meter bedroom at a comfortable temperature at the most extreme time of the year? So here we're talking at the coldest day of the year, no matter where you are in the world, whether that coldest day means that it's zero degrees or whether that coldest day may, means it's minus 20 degrees, how many tea lights do you need uh, to keep that in a passive house to keep that bedroom comfortable? And the answer might be surprising because it's only five tea lights that are needed to maintain the temperature of a 15 square meter room on the coldest day of the year in a passive house. And that's despite its location or climate because we're building passive house always that there's only a certain amount of energy required to keep that comfort level up. And uh, I really like the saying here by Anton Dobrevsky, the most sustainable energy is the one not used. So we really need to look at efficiency first. So the less energy we're using, uh, the better it is. And then only then we need to look at producing and storing. But uh, saving energy should always be the first step. And that's what we're doing with Passive House. Now let's come to uh, talk a little bit about Passive House because we said now um, uh, why we should do it and uh, all the good outcomes of it. But what what is Passive House actually? And here I want to um, tell you a little bit about Passive House in 30 seconds. So Passive House creates healthy, sustainable and affordable buildings. And while the outdoor environment is changing, the indoor environment stays consistent at 20 to 25 degrees. So that's Passive House in a nutshell. But how does Passive House uh, achieve that? So how can Passive House do that? And Passive House here is uh, using high, a high performance building envelope. It's uh, doing our 24 seven fresh air supply and it makes use of the free energy harvesting and heat recovery. That's how Passive House can achieve that. And that's, that's it really in a nutshell. Um, when you hear the word passive house, you might uh, automatically think maybe of residential buildings, but passive house is really a building standard. It's an international energy standard for any building. So not just residential for any building. 
from tiny to high rise. Um, and we've seen a lot of um, examples around the world where we have here a, a tiny home or a tiny office that is a, a certified passive house and high rise buildings that are to the passive house standard. It is even often easier to achieve passive house for bigger buildings because they often have a bit better ratio from their, um, like a better compactness and uh, less area compared to the volume that they enclose. Um, so it's easier to achieve that passive house standard. And in Europe, passive house developers win, win often win big projects now because they are more cost effective than conventional buildings. They have everything down pat. They know their details, they know their components. Uh, they apply that and then they become really uh, affordable and competitive. We also see passive house now applied for whole cities. So um, whole cities can be um, uh, in town and city planning. So we're looking at residential buildings, hostels, hotels, kindergartens, offices, and so on. No problem uh, bringing all these to the passive house standard. And we can see here an example of a passive house city in China with more than 1.2 million square meters uh, certified. And uh, a bit of an older example, uh, in Germany, Heidelberg, uh, with over 100,000 square meters certified. So the whole uh, city or the whole town is here a, a passive house town. So passive house really gives you comfort with a clear conscience. Um, passive house are normal buildings, but build better. It's not rocket science. Once you understand the standard, once you understand the components, you know what goes into it. And uh, we just need to make our buildings a little bit better. The additional investment in Australia is about 250 to 750 uh, dollars more per square meter. Um, this is an average, and it always depends on um, where you put your uh, where you put your comparison to. So it's about five to twenty percent for residential builds, but really uh, depends on where uh, where you set your benchmark. Yeah, if you're uh, comparing it to a very low cost housing, then it could be up to twenty percent more because we're building a better quality. Uh, but if you're already um, comparing it to a high-end residential, then it might be only 5% or even the same cost. We've seen it to the same cost as conventional buildings. Uh, we just have to be clever about it. In commercials, it can be as little as 1%. There's really not much difference between the two. Good. So that was a little bit about Passive House um, and explaining what it is. Obviously, in our courses, you learn everything uh, in a lot more detail. And now I tell, want to tell you a little bit about us, your Passive House training provider, and how you can become a certified Passive House professional to lead the building industry. So that's what we're here for, showing you a little bit how that works. And if you want to become a certified Passive House tradesperson, so we're talking today about the tradesperson in particular, because we have that course coming up, our cohort coming up uh, later this month. So on the 21st of May, we have a welcome session and then we have Q&A sessions for the tradespeople. But if you're here and if you're a designer, we also have designer courses coming up a little bit later, which starts in uh, early July. So um, uh, that's the same. It will be a very similar process. So uh, please keep watching. It's relevant for you as well. It just the dates are a little bit different, but everything else will be similar. Uh, the courses are a tiny bit different where the uh, designer course goes in a little bit more depth, so it'll have more modules, but today we'll concentrate on the trading course. Good, so our Passive House trading course, um, uh, our cohorts go over two months, so this will be uh, May and June with a, with an exam at the end of June. The study time, we, we say 50 to 60 hours, depending a little bit on your background, and in our tradesperson course, we include a Passive House 101 for the trades which is a little bit of a pre-course where you learn about the mathematics and the language of passive house that you can do up front. Then we have our live welcome session. As I said, this is in uh, two weeks, in a fortnight. Then we have two live uh, Q&As uh, bi-weekly. So every fortnight we have a Q&A session. Uh, so please, uh, before that, you watch two uh, modules and then we talk about those two modules in a Q&A session. You can ask me all the questions. We can do a discussion and you can also get to know your peers or the other uh, people that are studying with you. Then we have our exam prep training, uh, which consists of mock-up exams and exercises. And then at the end, we have our exam uh, to give you the certification um, as, as your final, um, final step in that uh, process. So why are we here? We are here because we care. So why do we wanna make you certified uh, tradespeople and designers? Because we care. Uh, because we want you to design and or build uh, healthy buildings that are sustainable and affordable. So that's uh, at really at the bottom of our hearts. 
And there may be a little bit of confusion on how to do this. You may have heard about sustainability. You may have heard about um, energy efficient homes, but uh, we are in that little bit of a mess. Everyone's pulling on a different string. And we want to empower you with our course to untangle that information uh, that you have on high performing buildings. And in the end, uh, have a really clear vision on what you need to do uh, to build energy efficient homes. Um, so the courses are far more than just the passive house certification course. Uh, you will experience how your current understanding and knowledge will come together with the, that newfound knowledge like a puzzle piece. Yeah, We're untangling everything and you will have this aha moment and say, I knew this already, but I didn't know how all of that is playing together. And that's really important that you get the full picture, that you get a very good basic understanding of how, uh, how this all works, how efficiency works. And uh, this will really click um, and come together like that puzzle pieces. Good. So what are our uh, packages? So our trade course certification package is um, starting with, as I said, the Passive House 101 for Tradesperson, an introduction course where you get prepped for the course. Um, just on a little side note, all our courses are now uh, on demand and self-paced. So meaning you're working with recordings um, and you can watch it in your own time, whether that's in the evening after work or at lunch, uh, at lunchtime at work or on the weekends. That's then up to you. And then we always come together at a certain time to discuss what you've learned. And you can review it. You can slow it down. You can speed it up. So it's really convenient uh, for your busy lifestyle. Good. Then we have our welcome session, as I said. So um, this is in two weeks where you meet your peers and then um, you start learning with your four modules. OK, so if you're doing one module per week, then that's the pace that we're going through this. Um, and that's about 10 hours each. So 10 hours. So if you do every weekday, two hours in the evening where you watch a little bit of the content and do a little bit of the exercises, then I would say that's a really good pace and is probably a, a, a really good uh, learning style where you're continuously learning. But you could also say, OK, I'll put a bit of time aside on the weekend and do that all on the weekend. Then your module one is your opaque building envelope. Your module two is your window. We talk about windows and ventilation. Then module three, uh, we show you build up. So we show you how build ups work in uh, every uh, climate zone. So we show what the differences are between the different climate zones so that you understand the standard is not just for a cold climate or a hot climate. It can be applied for any climate uh, that you may um, encounter in your career. And then we're talking about a little bit about detailing and conditioning. And then our last module is about retrofit and the certification process. Good. And to those modules, we have our live Q&A sessions. So two live Q&A sessions. Um, then you have uh, each week eight units to complete. So in those two weeks, you have 16 units to complete. Uh, and then we meet again and then we talk about uh, the two modules and you can send me questions in between. Obviously, uh, we're always available to help and support as well. Then you have your exam prep training. That's about six hours of study. We, we give you a week for that. So you have enough time to prepare for the exam. And then you have your online exam. We usually give you two options, an early and a late exam. Uh, depending on what suits you better. So one 9 a.m., what 6 p.m. Uh, the 6 p.m. one also works for people that are overseas, maybe in the UK or so. Uh, that for them is then early in the morning. So we are covering all the bases there. And uh, if you are following our process, you should be able to pass your exam with ease. We have a really good track record records with our tradies. Um, I think it's a 99% pass rate uh, with our tradies. And for that, um, if you want to, if you're now um, curious, our all-inclusive package is the best deal. So Certified Passive House Tradesperson Package, uh, that's our deal. We currently have that early bird uh, sale still on today. So it finishes tonight. So if you want to jump on, um, please do that. Uh, this is still available today. Uh, our early bird sale uh, from tomorrow, uh, the package will be $200 uh, more. Uh, but you can still sign up then, but uh, jump on it is now a really good, uh, really, really good uh, opportunity to do that. Uh, what we're including is, as I said again uh, already before, our Passive House 101 pre-course, uh, the tradesperson course itself, the exam prep and the exam. So um, uh, this is a really good deal. Uh, with our certification package, you also get uh, the um, certification guarantee. So meaning that if you are if you should not pass the exam in the first attempt, you're getting a second attempt uh, for free uh, because we want everyone to leave this course uh, really happy. And as I said before, it doesn't happen very often that someone doesn't pass the exam. 
total duration for the course about 50 to 60 hours. So uh, we would say theoretically you could do it in, in two weeks, but uh, with that Q&A, we're stretching it out over four to six weeks. So that's a little bit more comfortable um, and uh, fitting around your uh, busy schedule. And uh, with that, you can become a Passive House Pro. Good. Um, yeah, so I've already said that, what's all included. Now I want to give you a little glimpse um, into how we teach, uh, a little bit of a background in what you can expect. And here I want to show you a little bit of a, an extract of our formula booklet, meaning that uh, we have prepared this for you so that you can use this uh, during the course, during the exam, and also afterwards uh, in your projects uh, where you can look up what Pacifos means. So we're showing you uh, what the Pacifos standard means, what are the components, uh, what numbers you need to remember. So for the exam, you don't need to learn these by heart. You can look up on the formula sheet so you can bring it into your exam. We're showing you the calculations with examples always, and uh, everything is um, summarized for you really nicely. Then here's the Passive House Standard. So we're going really deep into that in the course. I explained to you what the Passive House Standard means. So uh, the energy that we're allowed to use in a Passive House and the quality requirement of the air tightness. So all of that you will learn in the course. And here's another extract of uh, the formula sheet or so the five components that we will talk about, thermal insulation, passive house windows, thermal bridge redesign, our air tightness, and our heat recovery ventilation system. So all of that will be covered uh, extensively in the course. Then we also have a little um, uh, house that we will be working on. Um, so we will go through some examples where we use this uh, as an example, which is a fictional uh, two-story residence in Germany. So why in Germany? Why cool temper climate? Because a lot of the passive house um, teachings are still based in a cool temper climate. But don't worry, we will also explain how it works in different climates. It's just an example. But once you understand how the passive house uh, standard works, you will be able to understand how to uh, translate that into different climate zones. Good. And now, um, before we finish, I want to show you a little bit how to access your SPA account. So maybe for that, I will jump actually onto the uh, website itself. That might be a bit easier. Um, and then uh, I can show you what to do if you want to, if you feel like you want to sign up now for the course. Then um, the first thing that you will see on our website, so if you type in smartbusacademy.com, you come uh, onto our landing page. So this is what it looks like, Passive House Education for Designers and Builders. So you can have a little bit of a look around. And that reminds me, uh, if you're a tradesperson in Tasmania, there's funding available. So maybe ask me about that. The Passive uh, Keystone Tasmania funds 80% of our courses. So that's a really good opportunity for you to jump onto that course. Um, and then if you're going up here into certification courses and click on Passive House Tradesperson course, uh, then you're coming to this page uh, where everything is explained again that I've explained today um, about uh, what, uh, what to learn, how long it takes, how much it costs, when the course starts. So all that information is here. So if you're interested, uh, please uh, have another look. And then if you are ready to, um, to purchase a ticket, so just click on Get My Ticket. And then you come to this page here, uh, Passive House Tradesperson uh, Package. So again, you can read up here what's all included. Um, so everything that I've summarized here is uh, also on here. If you want to send us a message, you can do that here as well. Um, and if you're ready, you just click on Take This Course. That puts that course into your, uh, into your cart. Then when you come to your cart, you can see that that course is automatically in there for you. Okay, so one certified... Uh, Passive House Tradesperson package at the moment reduced to $1,970 until tonight. Okay, so then uh, the price goes up. All our prices, please uh, be aware, are uh, excluding GST. So GST comes on top. And then you can proceed to the checkout. And at the checkout, uh, you fill in all your details, uh, your payment method, and uh, then you're in. Yeah, then you're, um, then you're enrolled. Um, and once you're enrolled, you can access the courses immediately. And I want to show you that as well um, on here. So then you come to your, so then you're logged in. So when you're logged in, it looks a little bit different uh, because then you have that your profile. So in my case, my profile is here. It says Julia Kiefer. That's my profile. So you can set up your profile. And then in under my courses here on the side where community is, 
you should find your Passive House Tradesperson package. And in here, you can start learning straight away. You can also find in my courses then the Passive House 101, so that pre-course, if you want to start with that one. And here you can start clicking on the different modules. And in the module is are then the units. And each of the units is about 20 to 30 minutes long. And you can start watching the uh, videos. Um, so maybe I'll do that to show you. And then also we have a flipbook. Uh, the flipbook is only there if you want to uh, look up something. So that's basically the slides that I'm talking to in a book format. So in a booklet format, you don't have to look at that, but uh, it might be helpful if you are looking for a certain slide uh, and want to look at that. Then uh, here's an example of the modules. Let me see if that opens. Yeah, it opens. So here you can see um, that's the module one now, uh, the opaque building envelope. And here is a preview and review. Um, you can look at that. We always have a bit of a preview review. And then we have the module starting. So Passive House Introduction and uh, Smart Pass Academy, then Thermal Insulation, U-Value, Add Titans, and so on. So click on that to open the videos. Then the other feature that we have uh, in your account is your member. So that's really interesting as well. So if you're going to My Groups, then um, you can see here we have the Passive House Designer, Smart Pass Alumni, and, and Passive House Trade so Students. So you will be um, a member of this group here, the Passive House Trade Students. And in there, uh, you can ask your questions. You can reach out to the other trade students and reach out to us, the teachers. So if you're asking a question there, I'm always uh, trying to catch up and see what's going on and um, answer the questions that are on here. So please post your questions, post your comments. So here it says who, who joined uh, and who put a comment on there. So that's a good way to um, communicate. Good. So that's what I wanted to show you uh, with our uh, SPA account. And um, yeah, we've had that already. Great. And yeah, so um, that's all for me today. Thank you for being here. Thank you for um, listening to me. And I hope I see you in the next trading course, or if you're a designer and listening to that in the next designer course. And um, yeah, until then, let me stop sharing so I can say goodbye. Um, yeah, until then, I wish you a great day and uh, don't hesitate to contact us. So contact me via our contact on the website or send us an email to support at smartbusacademy.com and ask us your questions and we would love to see you in the course. Bye.